Good afternoon, welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, here on VSBN.ca. It's a busy show today. We talked to Kyle Hofford, your Game of the Week's Penticulaverse Seminar. That and so much more, you're currently watching BCHL Central. Now, Pat, things over to Nick Badger is talking to Cal Hofford of the Colton Express. He is currently committed to Northern Michigan. I'm here with Cal Hofford of the Coquitlam Express. Cal, what are your expectations for this 2013-2014 season? Uh, nothing but first place. We put together a real strong team and uh, it's looking like a great season. And now, what do you think of some of the younger guys who are getting used to the BCHL, even some of the imports who are now coming out of the showcase? It's kind of like the regular season is starting at this moment. We have a lot of guys that returned from last year, so I think it really helped the younger guys and the guys that were new to the league come in and feel confident. And uh, I have confidence in all the new guys, and they've been showing it so far with a win against Surrey. So, Does your role change compared to last season to this season? A little bit more. Since I'm older now, I have to be more of a leader, more of a jokester. But uh, all is good. Thank you so much, Cal. Thank you. Great, thank you, Nick. We're now looking at the scores from Friday, October 4th. The Nama Clippers lost the Couch Valley Cavs of Frank Clarina 3-1. Langley Riverman beat the Surrey Eagles 4-3. Chilliwack lost to Quitlam 5-2. Vernon Vipers lost to the Prince George Spruce Kings 3-0. Alberni Valley and Trail Smoke Eaters tied 3-3. West Kelowna lost to Powell River in overtime 4-3. Victoria Grizzlies lost to Merritt Centennials 4-3. Now passing to your game of the week, the Penticton Vs for Salmon Arm Silverbacks. Puck over the line, a wrist shot on Clark, the rebound, they score! Puck comes into the neutral zone, this is going to be lost and it's going to be a goal! They score! And the good skater with a wrist shot, to fucking and they score! Puck comes loose, Barney's going to have a chance, Barney in on goal, takes the shot, oh, it got off the goal post! Anderson with the rebound, wrist shot, they score! Ferguson pass one man, centers it to Gillies, Gillies back pass over to Smith, he scores! It's going to come back to the point, but poking away with an empty net is Gillies, Gillies goes for his 11th goal, nothing but net, Gillies on a break, he scores! Alex Gillies is 11th goal of the year! From the Coast teams, Victoria and Chilliwack Saturday and Sunday respectively, and they're frustrating Penticton again tonight, and there's a shot, it goes just through the five hole, that was our game of the week, Penticton V's for Salmon and Zubax. We now review the games from Saturday, October 5th. The Aberdeen Valley Bulldogs lost Penticton V's 6-2. Coquitlam beat Chilliwack 9-4. Power River beat Couchin 5-2. West Columbia beat the Nama Clippers 4-2. Victoria Grizzlies shut out the Prince George Bruce Kings 1-0. Vernon the Vipers beat the Salmon and Zubax 3-2. Surrey Eagles lost to Langley Riverman 5-1. Centennials beat Smoke Eaters 6-1. And to review the scores on Sunday afternoon, Aberdeen Valley lost to Langley Riverman in overtime 3-2. Kelowna beat the Couch Valley Capitals 6-1. Coquitlam beat Surrey 5-1. I pass back things to the showcase where Nick Badge talked to Skylar Pachinko. Now this is your third year with the Prince George Spruce Kings. Has your role evolved over those past three years? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, my first year we had a really good team, so uh, it kind of brought me up slowly. And then last year we had a pretty good team as well, so I moved up a little bit. And yeah, this year I feel... Uh, more, uh, I've given, been given more responsibility uh, out there on the ice, so yeah, definitely. And now, what did you do during the offseason to try and improve on your 23 points from last season? Uh, I was actually uh, down here in the area. I was uh, training with my good friend uh, down in Langley, just uh, six days a week, skating three times a week, and uh, yeah, I just work on my strength and my speed. And now, what are you expecting of some of the, the rookies and some of the new guys, a lot of the imports that you have, especially your defensive partner? Yeah, I think uh, they did a really good job of getting uh, good recruits. Um, got a few from Ontario, some from uh, the states. Yeah, and they all they all seem like they can uh, they can all play. So uh, should be good. Thank you so much, Skyler. Right, thank you. Great, thank you, Nick. It's now time for the BCHL news. The Vernon Vipers forward Mark Hamilton is suspended two games for receiving a major penalty for checking from behind. 
In trades, the Vernon Vipers Hockey Club have acquired the CJHL playing rights to Josh Bentel from the Northern Bathfield North Stars of the, of the SJHL in exchange future considerations. The Alberni Valley Bulldogs have transferred the CJH playing rights to Jared Wilson, a defenseman, to the Vernon Vipers Hockey Club in exchange for Craig Martin, a forward. And the San Francisco Silverbacks Hockey Club acquired the CJH playing rights to Mark Ridley from the Langley Rivermans Hockey Club in exchange for CJH playing rights of Zach Urban. We're now going to pass things over to Nick Badger, who's talking to our player spotlight, Gordy DeFael, the goaltender of the Quitlam Express. Thanks, Tally. I'm here with the Quitlam Express's goaltender, Gordy DeFael. Gordy, how do you feel coming into the season? You're coming from the SIJHL, so you played with the Minnesota Wilderness last year. You're coming to the BCHL for the first time. How do you feel about the BCHL? Um, uh, obviously, it's the most highly scouted league, and... Uh, it's pretty offensive, so I'm excited to uh, face the talent that this uh, league has, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get the season underway. After backstopping the Minnesota Wilderness to the RBC Cup last year, you guys lost in the semifinals. You guys went very deep in that tournament. You had a short, shortened summer, part of me. Does that affect you in any way to prep for the season? Uh, yeah, I mean, like the summer was tough because the season came up pretty quick, but uh, we're my legs were under me, so when I came back for the uh, season this year, I was ready to go, and uh, just coming off that RBC experience, uh, my body was never really had to train too much because I was pretty uh, set to go, I guess. And Gordy, now being on a new team, you have a new set of teammates. How are you adjusting in the locker room to that chemistry? Uh, you know, it's hard to get uh, done with playing with my last year's team, but this group of guys is they're all great guys, and uh, it's all about building a uh, family in the locker room, and I can tell that uh, chemistry is building up pretty quick, and I've only been here for about a week now. And now we're still in the first month of the season at the moment. Do you feel you're adjusting to the tempo and the speed of the BCHL, if it's even a change from the SIJHL? Uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's a little bit more offensive, so um, the high scoring games and uh, the SI was more of a defensive league, but uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm adjusting pretty well and uh, I think it'll be uh, good for uh, building me as a player in general to play in this league. Now with the building situation, are you staying with any of the players on the Quilton Express? Uh, yeah, I'm staying with Nick Bodine and uh, he's from Quebec, so it's fun to uh, hang out with him and learn a little French from him. Does it help having that buddy there to be uh, in the billet house with yourself? Oh yeah, especially when you're uh, coming to a new team and you don't really know any of the guys and uh, getting to know Nick pretty well. He's kind of like your brother and he's a really good guy, so I'm glad to have him as my roommate. Good, you ready for the rapid fire round? Oh yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. Favorite NHL team? Minnesota Wild. Favorite NHL player? Anze Kopitar. NHL player you model yourself after most? Carey Price. Now, who's going to win the cup this year? Minnesota Wild. And what do you think of uh, Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter? Uh, base, basics of the uh, Minnesota Wild team, the heart of the squad. All right, hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. And now, the artist you listen to the most? Uh, Wiz Khalifa. Favorite car? Uh, Lamborghini. Worst guy in the dressing room to sit beside on the bus with? Uh, Gardner. Funniest guy in the dressing room? Uh, Cal Hofford, for sure, hands down. And now, who is probably, I would say, the dirtiest guy in the dressing room, tosses his gear all over the place, just don't want to sit beside him? Um, hands down, dirtiest guy, again, uh, Gardner. He's a dirty man. Best hair? Um, Rasevich. You go to you go to celebration after a shutout. Uh, probably the Carey Price. Um, I don't know what it's called, but that that's what I go to. Very nice, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> this player spotlight has been on Gordy Dayfield of the uh, Coquitlam Express. Thank you, Disney BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. Thank you to field reporter Nick Bazarin, editor and cameraman Chris Munzbicklin, and our producer Bill Stewart. Catch us on Twitter at BCHL Central for this show. That's a wrap. See you later. Thank you.